Lago. Well, it is no secret that when it comes to elections, all eyes are on Maricopa County and results from the state's largest county come from the tabulation and election center. That's where 12 News journalist Bianca Bono has been all day long. And Bianca, how busy has it been there tonight? Yeah, Mark Rebe, it's been relatively quiet compared to what we typically see during a primary or general election because of that low turnout, as Bram described. About 500,000 or so early ballots, plus around 30,000 or so people showing up in person today in Maricopa County. But regardless, it was still an important stress test for election workers today. And I'm told everything ran very smoothly, both at polling places and here at the Tabulation Center. And there are some changes and improvements that have been made since 2022, when you may remember remember printing problems led to some frustration amongst voters. Though the issues didn't impact anyone's vote counting, officials wanted to ensure it didn't happen again. So after an independent review of the challenges last year, the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors invested in improvements. They brought in new printers and tabulators, and they've done more testing in advance. We talked to Maricopa County Supervisor Bill Gates about how those changes looked in action today. This was just such a wonderfully run election, uh, very smooth. Um, I, I really can't point to any particular issues. Uh, we had basically almost no lines all day long. And still, to be able to have 30,000 people come in, vote in person, uh, is really a testament to the, to the team in Maricopa County elections. And security is also a continued focus this year. In 2022, you may remember, we talked about election workers that were being harassed on their way into work. They were being filmed. They had photos taken of their license plates. So in order to ensure the safety of the ballots, as well as those employees, there is fencing around the building. There's multiple security checkpoints, a metal detector inside the building here, and of course, a large presence of Maricopa County Sheriff's deputies. Now back to the results that we've seen come down to eight o'clock. Those were those early ballots that I talked about happening now we're seeing trucks come in and folks come in from the polling places around the county they're bringing the physical memory card so that will be the next batch of results that we start to see we'll see another result drop come on Thursday as well and again this is the same process that we're going to see in July for that primary and of course the big one in November with the general election we're live in Phoenix tonight Bianca Bono 12 news all right Bianca thank you and 12 News is your home for Decision 2024 from now all the way through the November election. Stay with 12 News on air and online for the very latest political coverage. New at 10, heavy sanctions handed down against a member of the Fountain Hill City Council tonight for ethics violations. And tonight, 12 News spoke exclusively with that councilman about the decision. 12 News journalist Chase Golightly was there.